Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to our daily series on yes, there was another leak for security breach. I don't understand. <laughs> I, I really have no clue what the hell is going on with Scott and Stillwell. They they gotta have things under wraps. They just ah the merchandise with Funko, you know, the action figures, the plushies, the mystery minis. All that stuff got leaked, and then we had the trends calendar, and then we had the actual designs of the Funko merchandise released. Which is weird because it was publicly released by Funko on their Instagram and Twitter. So I guess that's not technically a leak, but I'm sure that was not supposed to happen, so we all count it as a leak. And then after that, we had all these hoaxes, like these fake screenshots of the hub for security breach and gameplay screenshots. And then recently, we had the poster for the game leaked, which uh, apparently did get released, and I did manage to snag it before it went out of stock. Again, I had no clue that that poster was even being sold at this moment in time, but again, apparently it is. I did manage to order it, and so when it arrives at my house, you bet yourself that I will be making a video on it. And if you don't want to miss that, I think you should subscribe. Anyways, that is all in the past. That was just a quick, up-to-date of all of the leaks that we've had for the game so far. We've all been going at Funko for the longest time, right? They leaked the designs of the characters, uh, they leaked the entire line of Funko merchandise for the game, but we really should be going after trends. Not only did they leak the calendar for the game, which is where we really got a good look at what the designs for the characters were. It had Montgomery on it, it had Glamrock Freddy as, as well as Roxanne, and then uh, like, maybe a week ago, maybe even less than that, they leaked the poster for the game, which had all of the characters, right? They had, uh, Security Girl, Glamrock Freddy, Monty, Glamrock Chica, Roxanne, and Vanny. And now, we're back once again with yet another Trends leak. This time is interesting because I think this is the official cover artwork for the calendar we looked at a couple months back. The one that had the original leaked design characters on it, you know? At that time, Scott said that that was unfinished, um, it was low-res, uh, right, it was made up in Photoshop by people at Trends, it wasn't the official cover. Now, this is your final warning before I put it up on screen, I'm going to show the designs for Montgomery, uh, Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, and Roxanne, as well as the official name for the mall that we are going to be in in Security Breach. So last chance, three, two, one, this is the cover for the calendar. And damn, dude, this looks great. I love this, all right? Some people may not like it, they may not like the style that the cover is in, but I think this is freaking amazing. Of course, we have seen the designs of these characters already, so we can't really, you know, talk about that, but we can talk about the style, which again, I freaking love. It's got that 80s vibe that the mall is going to have, and I think Scott and Stearwell have been watching a bit too many FNAF VHS videos because this is really reminding me of those. I really hope we get a intro when we boot up the game with this logo. It'll introduce us to the mall. It'll introduce us to the characters in this style of art. I think that would be amazing. Or just like have a commercial teaser with this design. I highly doubt that's going to happen, but I would freaking love that. And as you can see, uh, the text surrounding the characters says Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. So, I think that basically confirms the theory that Pizzaplex is the name of the mall. A couple months ago, um, if you don't remember, uh, our first leak for Security Breach, the list of merchandise for Funko for this game got leaked, and it had Pizzaplex uh, on that listing, and we didn't know what that meant. At first we thought it was the name of the game, uh, and then some people thought it was just the name of the mall, and it turns out, yes, it is in fact the name of the mall. So that is very, very interesting, right? Scott said it wasn't the name of the game back then, and then later on we learned that uh, the game is called Security Breach. So we all assume that Pizzaplex must be the name of the mall, and that is confirmed right here. Mega Pizzaplex is probably the full name of the mall, a mega mall outside of the Fortnite location is just a huge freaking mall, right? And we know that the mall in this game is huge because it has at least two floors. And it has like escalators 
In it, it has loads of shops on the side. It has a huge stage for the characters in the center. It is a mega mall. We have the neon squares in the background. We have the neon lights illuminating the logo for the mall. We have two neon lightning strikes, which I think look really cool for the text, for the, for the sign of the mall. I think that is a amazing touch. I will say, um, the calendar is not available right now. It does not have a release date attached to it just yet. It does say that it was published on the 15th of July, so that's a bit odd because again, it's not out yet. You can't buy it. But there is a description that I want to read. It says, Life is sure to take you on quite the adventurous ride with this Five Nights at Freddy's walled calendar filled with your favorite characters from the smash hit video game series. Never take your eye off of the prize. 16 month wall calendars include each month in 2021 as well as the last four months of 2020 and are printed on paper certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. So yeah, uh, that description is the exact same one we got all those months back with the original calendar, and yeah, I think that basically confirms that this is the official cover for that calendar we saw all those months ago. So I'm trying to look for some differences between the designs for the characters that we have seen previously and the designs on this image, and it looks like this image is really accurate to what the characters look like. Of course, we have no models or gameplay screenshots of the characters in the game to go after, but we do have the leaked poster from a couple days ago, um, as well as some teasers and merchandise, and again, it looks like that this calendar uh, is really accurate, which is always nice. The only differences I can see are some color changes with slight things like Montgomery's glasses, um, for the cover of the calendar, they are orange, but on the poster, it appears to be more yellow. Roxanne's eye color is slightly different, it looks like, but nothing too major. So again, really, really accurate. I will be very interested to see how they fill 16 months um, with just like five characters or six, technically six. Um, so unless they have the characters in different poses, then maybe they can pull it off, but I, I highly doubt that this new game is going to have 16 characters. I do have the FNAF 6 calendar over there, and that, you know, perfectly fills out 16 months because it has the rock stars, and it has the uh, the mediocre melodies. I think it has some salvage characters as well, but it, it appears that Security Breach is not going to have anywhere close to 16 characters. It has, like, a third of 16, which, again, uh, I'm going to be very interested to see how they fill out uh, all those months. It will be also interesting to see if the entire calendar is in this style, because for the FNAF 6 one, again, using that as a reference, um, for the cover, it has renders of the characters as they appear in-game, and then for the months, they again also have renders. So it'll be, again, interesting to see uh, if this calendar uses renders for the characters or artwork. I don't think it'll be a mix of both. I feel like that would probably be a bit too complex, maybe a bit crowded. It, overall, it might just look a little bit weird to some. I personally wouldn't mind, but I would probably prefer renders over artwork. But then again, if this artwork is throughout the entire calendar, I'm down for it. So I guess that's all we can talk about with the calendar. Again, this is the official cover for the calendar that got leaked all those months um, back. Westcott said that it wasn't the finished product. It was low res, right? It was saturated, I wanted to say. It definitely wasn't the official cover, uh, right? It was put together in Photoshop very quickly by people over at Trends. So this is the official cover, which is, again, it looks freaking great. I do want to talk a little bit about the leaks. Um, I, I was planning on saving this for a separate video, but I feel like now would be a good time to address it because this is another leak video. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know my overall thoughts about all the leaks we have gotten so far and how Steelwall and Scott have been handling not only all of the leaks, but just how they've been advertising Security Breach as a whole. It's no surprise to anyone that we have yet to see uh, a trailer or gameplay screenshots or models, renders, anything like that. You know, everyone is super angry at Scott and Steerwolf for a lack of all of those things. I definitely do think we need them very, very soon. We were all expecting a trailer on the 8th. Of course, it didn't come. Um, a lot of people were mad at Steerwolf and Scott. There were so many angry comments on their posts, which you guys, again, if you follow me on Twitter, you know my stance on that. I was not 
I was not for that at all. Again, I was disappointed that there was no trailer, but I feel like my disappointment in the community that day was more than my disappointment in Scott and Steel Wool. Just the way the community acted on that day was, it was horrible. Do I think Scott and Steel Wool should be able to get away? You could say, with not giving us gameplay screenshots, trailer on the 8th, stuff like that, no. I do think they do need to be held accountable a little bit. They've been working on this game for a year. Uh, the first teaser we got for this game we got on August the 8th, 2019. So over a year at this point. And the only thing we have gotten for this game are uh, 2D drawn teasers as well as leaks from third party companies. I think that is probably the worst way to advertise things is to have constant leaks. Uh, someone on Reddit or Twitter, I can't remember which one, said it the best. Um, the community is looking forward more to leaks than official sources, you know? Like, I saw this wall calendar, right? The cover for it, I saw the poster, I, w I was blown away, right? I think the artwork was amazing for those things. Not saying the artwork for the teasers is bad, I'm just saying, I feel like when we look forward to leaks more than official teasers, that's, that's something we shouldn't be doing. Scott and Steel Wool, you gotta, you gotta keep us updated, right? You, you've said that this is the biggest projects, the biggest project in the entire series, and we know nothing about it. It's great to have mystery. It is fantastic to go into a game not knowing anything and just have a fun time with it and have a great experience. But when you keep hyping it up and we just get nothing in return, it's, it is hard to be hyped again. We shouldn't be looking forward to leaks. We should not be having leaks. I think someone in the comments section uh, said it best. I think for future projects, if Scott and Steel will do future projects, don't make contracts with third-party companies before the game is released. Because then you get stuff like this, you know? The merchandise gets leaked, or the calendars get leaked. It's just, it's a whole mess. And then when you don't properly handle it, that's even worse. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I can talk about that in a later video, and it's one, it, it's a video that I do kind of want to do, I just don't know how to properly do it, which is why it hasn't come out yet, but yeah, that's where I'm going to stop for now. That's my opinion on it. If you want to know more, I talk about it quite a bit previously on my Twitter, so yeah, if you want to know more about my opinions on all that, either stay tuned for an upcoming video, or just go check out my Twitter. But yeah, that is the official cover for the 2021 Security Breach Calendar. Tell me what you guys think of this artwork in the comments down below. It is very late, so I'm going to quickly edit this and throw it up, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.